Terrell. Tyler. News. Yeah. According to GameSpot, the PS4 is off to a good start, at least in comparison to the PS3's lackluster launch. GameStop president Tony Bartel released information that the new console has already sold more units than the PS3's first three months of release. While it's not exactly surprising that the PS4 is selling better than its predecessor, considering how much better marketing has been this time around, it's impressive just how soon the console has reached this point. Combining this with the launch of the Xbox One, Bartel says that GameStop is looking forward to the holiday season, optimistic that the two new consoles will bring in large profits for the rest of the fiscal year. It's time for your semi-annual PS Vita report. Today's forecast is the same as always, no one cares. But we at VGHL have never let that stop us before, so let's get into the nitty gritty. Emphasis on gritty, Sony predicts that it will sell less than 5 million PS Vitas this fiscal year, which is about 5 million more than I would have guessed, to be honest. Uh, shortly after this announcement, however, Sony's senior VP, De Vice President Development Manager, stepped in to clear the air. He describes these numbers as more of a worst case scenario and has reasons to hope that this year will be a year where the Vita can really shine. Quote, sometimes you've had slow starts which have suddenly sprung to life by a number of activities. Okay. Grand Theft Auto V seems to be the gift that keeps on giving for Rockstar. Many of you will remember that it broke a few records during its successful launch back in September. GameStop has reported that sales of the game have risen by 43.1% since the end of the third fiscal quarter. Take-Two gave a general figure that GTA V has shipped around 29 million units thus far. It's interesting to see that GTA's shoddy work with the launch of its GTA Online did not deter buyers from purchasing the game, but now that the storm has cleared, people must be anxious to jump into the world of Grand Theft Auto with their friends. Now more people than ever have the ability to wade through load screen after load screen to be told they couldn't connect to a game session. So, I don't know if you guys have ever heard about Game Dev Tycoon, a game where it simulates really, really convincingly the process of making a video game. Well anyway, unsurprisingly, if anyone's played it, it was probably pri pirated. Actually, Greenheart Games, the studio that created the game, discovered that approximately 90% of people that owned the game had an illegal copy. So in a hilarious measure to prevent piracy, Greenheart seeded their own copy of the game with a small mod to the code. Basically, after a couple of hours, the game starts undercutting the player's profits in-game. Pretty funny, I guess. Do you guys remember the best thing about the release of Halo 3? That's right, Crackdown. But I, as well as many other fans of the open-world Super Soldier game, was incredibly disappointed in its sequel, Crackdown 2. Let's face it, the game was pretty crappy. However, its developer, Ruffian Games, is reported to be working on a next-gen title. Destructor reports that the company is searching for programs and audio techs to work on a large project, which could translate to open world project. There's no word on what it might be yet, or if it's even related to Crackdown. So let's just hope that the third installment is worthy of the first one, if it is a Crackdown title. Remember how creepy the Kinect is? I know it's old news, but then again, so is how stupid people are, which is why I bring you this PSA. Basically it begins, the Kinect can't see through your clothes. And it ends, no, the Kinect can't see through your clothes. This is actually apparently news to some people, because after a recent tech demo of the X-Bone, in which you can see through the Kinect eyes for a second, people were outraged after seeing a fold in the denim of the pants a dude was wearing, and thought that the Kinect could somehow peer through the clothes and spot a man's genitalia. Microsoft, probably in between size and realies, was quick to explain that the Kinect cannot see through closing because, duh, and also that the view being showcased wasn't even available on retail consoles anyway, only in dev kits. So again, the Kinect is definitely watching you, just not naked, unless you want it to. Tyler. Daryl. Gameplay.